Hi, my name is Shani Imanovan. I am the Director of Innovation for California Health and Human Services. Um, so I am coming back to California, back to Sacramento. I spent the last 20 years in federal service um, at the um, CFPB, which was mentioned earlier, and at U.S. Digital Service for the last year of the Obama administration. I'm from here, so my coworkers are joking that I did a reverse ladybird, so I just I left and then I came back. But it's for good reason. Um, so I don't have any slides, so I'm just going to talk through this. So, um, <laughs> so one of the things that we've talked about with the Office of Innovation is innovation in itself is a really squishy, really fuzzy word. Like, what exactly does it mean? So what we decided to do is we decided to create an evolution for the office. So we're focusing on innovation being problem definition. And that's all we're focusing on for the first phase of our maturity. So the staff I have, and there's a few in the audience here today, we went through training to learn human-centered design, to learn facilitation skills, a little bit of an introduction to uh, technology, um, and also uh, some of the different design thinking techniques, all for the skill set of what I think state employees need to do, which is all this talk about open source is wonderful, it's excellent, these are great tools. But until state employees learn a different skill set, it's gonna be hard to leverage these at scale and leverage them properly. So by having staff being able to go out and ask the right questions to actually really understand what problems we're solving, it'll make our ask better when we work with partners, when we bring in contractors to actually build something, it'll be a more specific ask. For example, a lot of times we come in and we say, what's the problem? And pardon me, I'm sure name, nameless said, no, we're gonna solve all nutrition problems for all Californians. And we're like, that's great, that's really big. Can we make that a little smaller? So one of the things we do is we focus on, it's trademark, but we smallify the problems and we make them smaller and smaller so that we end up with something that is solvable in a six week increment. So we ruthlessly use agile and lean methodologies so everything we do is six weeks or shorter. We might do a longer one, but right now it's six weeks for a couple of reasons. One, we don't want to get stuck in a project forever and ever and ever. But also by having these six week engagements, we create a sense of urgency. So the partners that we're working with at the departments, you know, we're only here for six weeks and we're building this with you shoulder to shoulder. So if you don't make folks available, you're going to have a less than optimal result out of this thing. So, um, one of the things that's really cool about joining Health and Human Services, uh, when I came back, I was at CDT for a while, and then this opportunity opened up, so I, I came over here. Health and Human Services already has a head start in a lot of this um, from uh, previous efforts in open source. So about four years ago, um, Health and Human Services made a major effort to start being on the forefront of open source data and opening things up. What we found is that by opening up the data and adding collaboration from the outside, people were able to build things for the state that the state itself can never do. We don't have the time, we don't have the resources, but that provides better in services to the constituents, to the counties, to the cities, and all the other people that we work with. So we found that that was really important. So um, Mike Wilkening, Secretary Mike Wilkening, um, gets all the credit for this. He saw that not only can you take this and apply it to open source, but if you scale it up and apply it to other things, we can start seeing these economies of scale and these benefits of scale. So that's how the office got created, and then insert what I said earlier about me showing up. Um, <laughs> so um, one of the things that my staff is doing is mentioned that we do human-centered design, um, we do problem definition. So one of the other big things is product management, because I'm trying to drive the mentality that product drives better outcomes. Just using awesome tool sets, great, but if you're only thinking about things from a project standpoint, which is scope, time, cost, quality, a little bit. Yeah. You're still not keeping your eye on, are you building the right thing to solve the problem? So adding that mindset to it of product management of, hey, what's the problem that people are running into and how are we going to solve that? But in order to do that, you have to have the skills I talked about earlier in human-centered design. You have to go in, you have to sit down, and a lot of times I send my staff into really hostile environments. Sorry, but I do. Um, because people are like, what is this fuzzy innovation thing? But when they sit down and they have the empathetic listening and they're like, what's the problem you're trying to solve? What are your pain points? Then it shifts and it becomes like, oh, great. Let's talk about solving this together. And you can see that mind shift happen. So with a lot of the open source things that we're seeing that are being launched here, which is great, 
what I'm hoping is that this office can help, and efforts like this all throughout the state, can help with the front part of that, which is are we building the right thing, are we doing the right thing, so when we use these tools, it's a beautiful synergy of the right problem, a really well thought out solution, and the right tools to support that. So I'll give you two quick examples and then I'll stop yapping. Um, so two of the projects that we're really proud of, one is we did a project with our um, friends at Oshped, Office of Hate and Estate. Thank you, Statewide Health Planning and Development. I'm still learning all the acronyms, that's how new I am to the state. Um, one of the things that my team did is we went in and we did a workshop to help re build or reimagine the form that researchers use to request um, data from the state for research purposes. So by sitting side by side with the researchers, we did a series of workshops, found out all the different pain points, rebuilt the form, and at the end of it, we got feedback that people are really excited to go back and see this form and use it to request data. When was the last time you saw people excited about a new government form being released? <laughs> so, like, that is a great litmus test. But because it cut through a lot of the redundancy and a lot of the questions, and it just makes it more streamlined, both for the researchers and for the employees, we're hoping that this is going to speed up the request process quite a bit by a few months. We'll see. Um, it's so new, we haven't had feed, um, actual results back, but it's one of the beauties of being new is we can talk about things and how we think it's going to work without having to show you real results yet. But we will, we will. Um, the last thing is, in a couple of different engagements, we've run into a situation where a lot of times with recruiting, people complain about the same things, but when you sit the people at the table, you have IT and they're looking across the table glaring at HR and they're glaring back and you're like, whoa, what's going on here? And it's a lot of times because they see each other as the problem. Like you just throw stuff over the wall and you expect us to fix it. So the beauty of this approach by looking at the common problems between the two audiences is they start to see, oh, that problem, that's our same problem. Oh, and if we do this, that makes your life easier. Oh, and if we do that, then your life is easier. Then suddenly the conversation becomes less adversarial and becomes, oh, great, let's build this together. And we've seen that in three different engagements now. So what we're hoping is that these little improvements start to build and build, and pretty soon you see hiring go down from months and months and months to one of our departments is down to 60 days. Um, can't, I'm not going to take all the credit for that. But we've done little improvements and help them um, start to add technology to that, so you're going to see even more increases. So human processes get better, then the technology comes in and makes that work at scale. Anyway, thanks for your time.